life no more Take it to the grave, I'll ghost I know I can be so cold In the dark Where I like to keep my heart No more bite, no bark Like to catch you away It's about that time. Good morning, everyone. Or good evening. It's good to be back, baby. I think uh, you all know what we're in for today. Thank you, Zane. Okay, thank you for the nine months. Happy sub, baby. It's good to see all of you here. How's it going? Isn't this song so fucking good? <laughs> oh no. Stop that. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Hey, Leaf. Hello, Game Addict. Zeri, congratulations on first today. Cade, hello. Bacon, good to see you. Dixie, hello, hello. And Leaf, of course. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bit of a surprise. Um, well, first of all, I think uh, I'd like to go over the plan for today. Hi, Poison. Okay. Perfect. So, today, I am playing Getting Over It. Until I beat the game, I will not stop streaming. And uh, if I end stream early, 
I will play Alien Isolation. But every time I get scared, I will drink. And I will wear a maid outfit during that stream. This is not a scam. <laughs> I will do it if I don't beat the game today. But if I beat the game, there's uh, there's no... <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I beat the game, there's no punishment, obviously. Hand cam, how scandalous? Yeah, yeah. I figured a hand cam would be fun for this game. See me flailing about and whatnot. <laughs> I hope it's not too distracting. Um, I can turn it on and off very easily, so I guess for now I'll keep it off. But yes, that is the plan. Um, I hope you guys are excited. I'm terrified. <laughs> You guys ready? I'm certainly not. <laughs> Might as well get started. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it feels so weird. <laughs> oh boy. It's been, what, like a few weeks since I played this? It feels so unnatural now, oh no. All of the, uh, all of the skill that I developed, I feel like is just gone. Oh my goodness. No! Oh. <laughs> okay. I think there was some promise there. Any of you noticed that the, the sledgehammer's handle kind of turns green when it's in shadow? Or is that just me? Does it look green to anyone else? Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, this isn't a bad start. It really does, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. Later. Okay, not a bad start. The shadows are slightly blue. That would make sense. Uh, complementary colors and whatnot. I don't know, uh, is that what they're actually called? I don't remember. No! Oh, no! <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I mean, we knew that was gonna happen, right? Hydrate? I missed that hydrate redeem, I'm, I apologize. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
I feel like sometimes this game makes me think of meatspin.com. You guys remember that? I'm not doing a chat overlay. Oh my goodness. You're right. Why is my chat turned off? Thank you for that, Zary. I, I, that's right. I think I turned it off yesterday because the, the chat was covering part of the screen. Oh. Think of what? What? Did I say something? <laughs> Sorry, it's still early in the morning for me. I haven't been awake for very long. Okay, nice and easy. Perfect. I don't gotta rush that. Meatspin.com. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you guys don't know what meatspin.com is? I don't know if it still exists, but, uh, oh my goodness. So basically, when I was in like middle school, I think, um, like this was very old, long time ago. Um, friends would like, I, th I feel like it was kind of like the, uh, the Rickroll before Rickroll was a thing where you would get your friends to go to this website and then it's just a bunch of videos of guys spinning their dicks around in a windmill. Ho. Oh. How did I manage that? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, classic. Classic humor. Okay. No, 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 no. That's all wrong. Oh, okay. Hello there. Oh. Hi, Hauser. Good to see you, brother. How you doing, my man? Only one way to find out if it, if it exists. Good luck, friend. Enjoy it for me. I feel like the first time I went up this wall. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the first time I went up that wall, I I literally just didn't think. I just uh I just went. Fuck. Fuck. No longer exists. I had a feeling. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Whew. Damn. How is it already hot in my room? I haven't. I've had the AC off for literally like five minutes.
Okay, maybe it's more like 20 minutes, but still, that's very, that's very fast. <laughs> Feels like the temperature went up 10 degrees. It is raining over here right now. What's the weather like uh, where you guys are at? I feel like the humidity is just filling my apartment. Oh. No, no, no. Damn it, I keep like pushing myself back off. I get the first two moves fine, and then I just like move too fast for the last one. 10 C is a big difference. Hi, Devil. Good to see you. There we go, that was a little better. Oh, that's a good point, Zeri. Um, I meant like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. My brain still works in Fahrenheit for the most part. I think when I think of like the actual number, I think of Celsius now, but when I think of differences in temperature, it's usually Fahrenheit. Oh, this is so difficult. Come back so we can have a party again. I'll be back eventually, but it might not be for a while. Oh, that was kind of slick. <laughs> oh Oh no. Relax, Mido. Relax. Take it easy. Whew. I think I'm just really scared of wearing a made outfit. <laughs> Goodness. I'm not sure that it will. I'm not sure that it will. I don't know how many chances I'm going to give it. I can escape, absolutely. If I beat this game today, for example. Whoa, what the, what just happened? What, bro, what just happened? Did I soft lock myself? Hello? Okay, thank you game. Oh. 
come on, man. Uh. Unbelievable. I feel like I can consistently get up that wall now. It's all coming back to me, slowly but surely. game already feels like a workout, man. It's probably a good thing because I didn't work out yesterday. But like, <laughs> it feels like it's taking a physical toll already. I've been playing this game for what, like 10 minutes? go back to the orange It's a marathon. It's a marathon. <laughs> yeah, for like a training arc. I have one of those computer mouses that I can like put weights in. But I usually use it on the lightest mode. All the weights in it? So the Logitech G05 or G502, whatever it is. I think that's the number. It's got a five in it and probably a two. take those no 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 we don't take those return it god damn dude <laughs> i'm going crazy 
<laughs> Those chairs on the top, man. They, they're gonna, they're gonna be what makes me lose it. Oh. No, no, no. I'm not going down that easy. God. Yo, Kebaben. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Katsu crew, brother. Rashaimasu. Good to have you. Oh. <laughs> As someone who has a name that always gets mispronounced. I do my best to pronounce others' names correctly. Oh. <laughs> let's get grounded, but all right, let's take a second. Chat, do this with me. All right. <sighs> take a moment. Breathe in deeply. Take at least five seconds to breathe in. And then breathe out. Do it a few times. Oh, uh, dude, bald people are just <laughs> funnier. Is your prize good, sir? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Ben. I appreciate it, brother. <sighs> Let's do like two or three more deep breaths. <sighs> Ooh, okay. All right, no worries, homie. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice to meet you. Hope to see you again. Have a great day. All right, <clears throat> Zeri, thank you for getting us grounded. <laughs> no worries, dude. I do appreciate it, though. Whoa! Yeah, absolutely. And that's part of the reason why I added that redeem today. <laughs> oh. I feel like those deep breaths did already help though. Falling there was not, oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Whoa. <sighs> I can't believe that just happened then. I can't believe it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> this is a chance for us to <laughs> to really practice our fundamentals. <laughs> Oh, oh. 
Oh. What the fuck just happened? Nice. What the what? What? <laughs> what was that? Did you, it looked like the the sledgehammer slipped through the rock. go oh shot okay Stupid little movements, man. <laughs> what? what? My shit just slipped for no reason. Why is it so slippery? Dude, am I just like pissing lubricant? Uh, dude, bald people are just funnier. Yo, Emmy. I like your cut. G, sorry for missing <laughs> the debut stream. <laughs> Wait, what a what a perfect message to go along with that alert. <laughs> I like you cut G. Psh. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh, and don't worry about missing the debut stream. It's totally fine. If you do want to see some of what you missed, um I'm going to post some highlights to my VOD channel. And I say highlights because uh, I cut some of the stream out. All right, we're back, baby. <laughs> Saitama's brother. <laughs> Try lover. Take it easy, Mido. Take it easy. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Egg on egg action. Whoa! No. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. You're right. The egg on egg action would be too powerful. But you do need at least two eggs to make an omelet. You know what they say. By they, I mean me. I, I say that. Oh, come on. I feel like my sledgehammer is like spazzing out today. Maybe it's upset that I have another sledgehammer on my model.
<sighs> Come on. Get up, dude. <laughs> I swear, this sledgehammer is like an, a 60-year-old's dick. I'm trying to move my mouse up, and it's just not getting up. What the? Okay. Okay. I'll stop insulting you. I'll stop insulting you. It's fine. Let's just get along, okay? Holy fuck. It's like it has a mind of its own. Maybe I just lack finesse. I think that might be it. Oh. But I'd hate to think that I have the finesse of a 60 year old's dick. Doesn't do much for my confidence. Oh, take it easy. Nice and slow. Can I just... I don't think I'll be able to do that with this one. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh. Wow. Okay, I could just go slow. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay. It's beautiful. Taking a sip. I need to take a breather real quick. <clears throat> All right. Hydrate. Okay, I'll drink some water. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. No, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear I didn't. I, I didn't think that I moved my mouse fast enough for me to get airtime. That sucks, but we'll get back there. We'll get back there. What the fuck? 
What the fuck is this song? Dude! Party? What? What? Okay, these these playlists are ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a different one. I wonder, could it could it be because my mouse is low on battery that my my shit's like spazzing out a little bit? Is that a thing? Do you lose mouse precision if you have low battery? Or is this just me trying to rationalize that I'm bad? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It shouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm probably just bad. I just need to take more relaxed, smooth movements, right? Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Okay, nice and easy. Relax. What the fuck? Nice. <clears throat> nice. Oh God, I forgot it did that. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, baby. It feels like we're closer now. Composer and climber, designer and user. You could have refused, but you didn't. There was something in you that was hidden. That chose to continue. Whoa. Oh, God, it's the ice area. At least it's kind of like a free ride here. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. That is driving me right now. Like so much. Holy shit. Okay, I feel like there's some sneaky way that I can just fall to the bottom here. So I shouldn't go too crazy. God, can I relax? I feel like there's gotta be a way to slingshot my way up there from like here, right? Fuck. Ah, uh, whoa. Maybe I do it from here. Oh, that was so close. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there.
Oh, too much, too much power. I just gotta like caress the top. No, too much, still too much. I don't know how, but it's still too much. Dude, this song sounds like I'm being sold something. <laughs> I swear, I'm not moving my mouse that much. There's like some automatic movement of this thing. Fuck. Dude. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Keep getting stuck and then falling down. Like that. That's so dumb that it does that. I don't get it. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Dude. No! I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. Oh, come on, I was so close. Come on, just sit on the rock for a second, please. Think about the choices you've made to get to this point. Oh my God. I swear, <laughs> ooh. I don't know how I keep getting stuck like that, you know? Oh, that was so close. I wonder if I just gotta like, furiously swipe at it. Dude, I hate that I keep getting stuck like that and then falling. You know what I'm talking about? Those little moments when I pull but nothing happens and then it lets go and flings me backwards. I need to take a second. <sighs> the way that it feels like the shit is just, you know, <laughs> phasing through rocks. Like, it'd be kind of cool if I was a multi-dimensional man in a cauldron, but I don't think that's what the game designer had in mind. This feels like the hardest jump in the game. It's probably the least punishing, but it feels like the hardest jump in the game. Oh, come on. What the f- Oh, there's a little- <laughs> Uh. 
Dude, I feel like I'm going insane. I keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different to happen. Whoa! Come on. Oh. Dude, this playlist kind of sucks too. Maybe I'm just that salty. What do you guys think of the music so far? I've been I've been going through like three or four different playlists so far. None of them were made by me. Except the one I played at the very beginning. I keep like giving it too much power or it just automatically like pushes down for me and I'm not ready for it. Yeah, I think that might be it. I think it just like automatically pushes down at some points. this song is this computer crash remix okay okay God. Okay, I'm gonna take a second. <laughs> I've come so far. I will not be defeated by a rock and a top hat. Oh. 
Okay, I'm just defeated by the top hat itself. <laughs> Damn, that was so close, man. That's what I'm talking about, though. Yes. What's going on here? Do I have to... No! It's fine. It's fine. I did it twice. I can do it a third time. What did I say, baby? Now, where do I go from here? Is the question. Do I really have to get up there? like take it easy for a second I would love <clears throat> okay so those aren't things that I can grab on slowly what the fuck oh that was quite the save Is this really the jump that I have to make? <sighs> yeah, baby. Oh, hell yeah. This song gives me power. No! <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We could do it again. Oh! Whoa! I 
feel like I'm so close. Come on. Just need a little more power. What? That was not more power. <laughs> How did I do it before? Three times. Easy. Turn the DPI all the way up. Does that actually help? Oh, there it was. There it was. I think I was trying to push too far to the right. Slip, man. I had it. He <laughs> is Maximus. That's so tough. Isn't there like a speedrun strat with this anvil? Where you can fling yourself up like that way. There we go. That's beautiful. talking when I make progress now. Interesting. been going for an hour. Actually, what I should be saying is we made this much progress in an hour. Oh, that was so close. <clears throat> what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck, dude? That's so mean. That's literally... <laughs> I'm blown away. I can't, like, get my position right. There we go. Dude, I swear I'm not putting that much juice in my landing. No way, man. Oh. oh my god. 
it's clearly something I'm doing, right? But I just, I, I, it feels like I'm not doing that. Am I just coping that hard? players get stuck here feels like this is disproportionately difficult maybe that's why he didn't put like a, a way to fall because <laughs> he knows how it how tough this is so painful when I get it and then just something dumb makes me lose it. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, relax. No, no, no. I wasn't sure where the next thing was. Oh, my palms are getting sweaty. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Ian. There's no such thing as being late here. I'm not wearing a sweater. And I have not vomed. momentum is kind of important here oh but I don't know where I'm going so I'm afraid to get momentum oh I could cry oh please please no <laughs> too far back. Dude, this hat. Oh. The music only makes it more intense. Right? The music gets me pumped up, though. This is my... Uh, background music that I commissioned. Oh, I 
feel like it's perfect. Hi, Brownie Poo. Wait, are you the brownie from Guzzo's server? And wing nights. Oh yeah. Good to see you, homie. place like perfectly here has to be past halfway though right like I feel like I'm at least at 60% of the way through the game still too much still too much I'm pretty close oh come on I swear I'm not doing that little bounce I just gotta adjust for it better. There's like elasticity. <sighs> How do speedrunners do this, bro? I don't get it. I'm slipping and sliding around, man. It feels like my cauldron is coated in loot. go to college for physics I doubt that had a first try that was sick
What the fuck? Why was I on a, on my side? How was I not sitting flat? Dude! Oh. Oh, that's so painful. Come on. I have all day, Zeri. You don't understand the lengths I'm willing to go to. I'm a man of commitment. Determination and sheer fucking will. I think I got that quote wrong, but <laughs> the will is the important part. Oh my god. Who splooged on this cliff? If I don't finish by today, is your today, and it's just starting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I, I failed to specify that. But yes, it is my day. If I don't finish by the end of my today. Which, it is only 10.21 a.m. hour stream then fuck you oh. ye of little faith That's a good opportunity for a breather. I'm so terrified of the snake, man. Hi, Dead Watcher. Oh. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, please. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> 
fuck. <laughs> I will not ride the snake. Luna! Hi, Luna. How you doing, friend? Got desk and chair and veg tomorrow? Nice. That's so exciting gonna start feeling like a home real quick it's going pretty well actually knock on wood but uh this is the farthest I've ever been oh Okay, okay. Oh. No, 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 no. You thought you could get me. I don't think so, Snake. Oh my god. I I just shit my pants. Ooh. Oh my god. And it's thundering outside. I don't know if you guys would hear that. There's a thunderstorm going on right now. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had like a real thunderstorm. <clears throat> I'm glad I went to the store before stream. <laughs> no, 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 no. Holy shit. I think if I just get like a bad grab like this, I should just let go. I need to get it on the left side so I can swing up the right way. Mm. Yeah, like that. Ah. Fuck. Mm. No. It's better than the snake. It's better than the snake. We recover from these.
Thanks for looking, Zeri. Appreciate you, brother. Hope your thing goes smoothly. That was so close. Okay. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Hello? I did not... Okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We improve. We recover. Oh, it's so beautiful. This damn bucket. Oh. 
That was close. No! Oh my god, I got so lucky. bucket oh. oh no 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 <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do some pull ups. Fuck. Nope. Nope. Fuck you, snake. I'm not gonna ride you. You're assuming I already have some left, Dead Watcher. It's a kind assumption. Just pushing off the ground too hard. Ooh, that's a little bit interesting. Ooh, okay. Right, Ian. I feel like just pushing won't give me enough what I, of what I need. I'll give it a shot, but... Oh, that was actually close. I was not moving. <laughs> I was not moving my mouse. At least I don't think I was. Maybe you guys can corroborate. Fuck.
Like, yeah, not moving my mouse at all. Okay, so note to self. If you don't move your mouse, it will still swing you actively. It's kind of dumb. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't like the way that I'm tilted. Oh. I'm so close. Oh. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to be? No, I was probably supposed to go to the other side, wasn't I? Welcome back, Zeri. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to get up this? This is, I'm actually leaning to the side because it's so much concentration and exertion. Please. I feel like it's it takes a different like motion to get up this. You can't just swing in, in wide circles. I'm actually leaning off the screen. I keep doing it unintentionally. Thank you, shopping cart. This looks like it should be an easy jump, but it feels like it's not. No. no. I don't want to fall down that whole mountain slope again. Oh, I'm going to have to go 
Oh. No. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down. Did I just fuck myself? Oh, please. Please. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. There's no way, dude. I'm actually crying. I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Hello? Did I not push off hard enough? Oh god, I'm falling. That should be it, right? Yes! Oh! <laughs> I'm actually, like, emotional. Holy fuck. I can't believe it. I thought I was going to be here all day. Oh my god. Hi, Yordle. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. I... <laughs> What was the final timer? Just over an hour and a half. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually crying, dude. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Holy shit. <sighs> Oh, it'll tell you the ex ex exact time? Okay. Oh. <clears throat> 4 hours, 14 minutes, 57.299 seconds. Not bad. Not bad at all. I am streaming this. Holy shit. Oh. I'll do it another time. <sighs> I guess I'll have to beat the game to do it again. Holy shit, guys. Wow. What a game. <laughs> I... Speedrun to the golden pot? What's the golden pot? I beat it faster than you did. I had some help, to be fair. Ugh. <sighs> Well, now we've got a <laughs> we've got some time to ourselves. You know, we could sit back, relax. Maybe uh you know, watch some memes perhaps. After 50 completions? Oh wait, after every win the pot turns slightly more golden. Really? 
What do you guys say to watching some unusual memes as a little reward? I guess I gotta change my category. This is the world's loudest bird. It has the record for the loudest bird call on the planet. <laughs> is that real? Was that real? Dude, I swear, birds are robot spies for the government. That's that's got to be proof, right? It has the record for the loudest Listen bird call on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> that's just connecting to the internet through dial-up. <laughs> oh no. Um homem reagiu a um assalto atirando um frango. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you do in this situation? Like, imagine an elephant comes up, tries to take your food. What do you do in that situation? There's nothing you can do. This thing is huge. You just have to let it take your offering to the elephant gods. Oh no! No, oh, no! Helicopter, helicopter! Meow! <laughs> 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 I love that meme. I've seen this plenty of times, but it makes me so happy. <laughs> it was real yes, I would like to know, Dixie. Please. I won't show stream. Scary, because I was in my room whacking one out, and then all of a sudden <laughs> my window, and I see two dudes going through it. I got a dog I trained for scenarios just like this. That bitch was asleep, had to take matters <laughs> into my own hands. I think his matter was already in his own hands, if you know what I'm saying. Five. Do move. <laughs> this looks like something I would do if I tried to play so play soccer these days. remember any stories of Santa needing a sledgehammer. He's uh, climbing a mountain. But this Santa isn't going out on his traditional Christmas gift run. <laughs> How does he have internet connection? Do you not need an internet connection to open crates? What a chonky boy. Hey, Vicky, hey. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good point. I forget that exists. Oh, no. Wh wait. That didn't just tear, did it? Did he just slip out? Please tell me he just slipped. Oh, he just slipped out. Thank God. Oh, my God. I was about to be traumatized. Oh. That's deserved. That is 100% deserved. What did you think was going to happen? Wow. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
I could make a joke here, but it's probably not Twitch appropriate. I got some noise coming from the rear end. I'm not sure what's going on. In the back there? Yeah, yeah, in the back. I don't know. It's, it was like coming from... Coming it's from like that area? Oh no. Yeah. That's gotta feel so bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prediction. He's gonna throw it at his head and it's gonna make a funny noise. Like, doo. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I have not seen this video before. God damn. He's halfway to being me. <laughs> Can we do a side by side? What do you think? Who's balder? Oh no. If I want to have a, a swim in my own bin on the hottest day that we've ever had in England, then I'm entitled to do so. Preach, Zary. <laughs> hey Daisy, you, you want some peanut butter? No? Alright, that's fine. I won't give it to you. Oh. <laughs> oh my Devil god. Hate us, uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? I know I'm not the best cook, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do it. What the fuck is this? This looks like Satan's nutsack. What? What did I just watch? Oh no! Poor guy. Guess he's done with work today. And he ain't climbing any mountains. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, can we talk about the state of TikTok? I feel like people are just coming up with this, like, how do you think of this? Slowly losing grip with humidity. I feel like it's quicker than slowly. People are coming up with two words and finding ways to put them together and then just post them on TikTok. Like, who, who puts pickles in an air fryer? They just, like, opened a two random page in the dictionary. They got pickle air fryer and uh they were like oh yeah i could do that tiktok will love it oh my god oh <laughs> takes me back to uh stormville castle Parasaur, thank you for the 10 months, dude. God damn. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, brother. I 
feel like <laughs> insomnia is hitting. Shit, yeah, I guess it is like 4 a.m. for you. 3, 4 a.m.? Damn, I'm getting good at these time zones. I feel like uh, unusual memes is devolving into four things. Uh, first, animal videos. People falling. People getting hit by things. And random Asian skits slash mobile phone ads. Turn that thing off. <laughs> So TikTok digs in a nutshell. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is happening? Oh, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> People falling. Animal video. No. Oh. People falling, animal video. <laughs> Is this a people falling? Oh. Okay, I guess there's a fifth category. Is people doing things that, like, you have to smoke crack to think of? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> My God, I found my rival. You <laughs> stupid <laughs> cat. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. It just didn't stop. Oh, yeah, shine it for me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Yo, he's got that brand deal. He's looking slick, dude. What are those? Oh, fuck. We got the yin and the yang. <laughs> Get ready with me to go to <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ. I feel like that was a pretty good one. Oh. What do you guys think? Do we watch another meme video? I'll do a poll. Vote away. Have you seen Maxor's second part of Elden Ring? No, I haven't. Maxor is so good.
Do not play this video. Oh. <clears throat> An incorrect summary of Elden Ring. I haven't seen the first one, actually. You guys want to watch them? It's so good. Maxor is a bit less edgy. Seth Sintak? I've not heard of that person. You've seen it like three times already? Damn, okay, okay. It must be good then. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll take a look. I think first though, first I'd like to use the restroom and then I'd like to grab some food from the fridge. So, yeah, let me take us to BRB. I'll be back in a couple minutes, and then we'll we'll check out these videos. It I can't tell you guys how much of a relief it is to be done with getting over it. <laughs> like, oh, it feels so good. Maybe some of you understand the feeling. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.
It's kind of meant to sound menacing, friend. I'm a villain, after all. Ah. I got a nice little sandwich. Let me show you. Oh, right. Um... Take a look. Not sure how easy that is to see, but it's a ham, cheese, lettuce sandwich. <clears throat> it's it's two halves put next to each other. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's take a look at this video. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, or as I like to call it, Uber Band, is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting pain. <laughs> Hydro Tacos Miyazaki, holy shit. In this adventure, you play as the famous video games protagonist Elden John as he undergoes many trials <laughs> and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This, this energy is insane. This is not what I was expecting. I guess I didn't know what to expect. Uh, a little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many challenges await the player. Most of it is the work of Satan, as is every game made by the Japanese. Spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa, we will find many secrets, <laughs> uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that book. My favorite part was the genocide. This editing is crazy. I feel like ever since I started editing um, AMVs, I have so much more appreciation for um, for editing in general. Not to mention, editing normal videos feels so much easier now. <laughs> so we boot up the game and uh, oh, uh, silly me! I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my character our journey begins inside of the microsoft Some powerpoint sort of the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead wake the fuck up samurai of course this is a from soft game so spider-man is here to send us the fuck back to our <laughs> tutorial which is a whole a whole lot of fun you know just making friends influencing people and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life and with that problem <laughs> sorted it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of trees, laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? <laughs> weird, wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, you're fit is mid and you get zero bitches Fuck damn before i gotta look at those stank ass vans again as per the words of our friendly associate we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches in dark souls we sought after the dark probably Soul. takes 10 minutes of editing per second of video that's a scary thought considering this is almost a half hour long that's what 1800 seconds so that would be eighteen thousand minutes which is more hours than I would like to count. Soul. I guess that's why he doesn't upload for... That's that's why there were two months between uploads. <laughs> and in Bloodborne, we tried to escape Britain, but for Elden Ring, our objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic. You cannot level up until you get a girl boss. So with nothing else <laughs> to do, I guess we'll have to fight this tutorial boss. I, uh, he's a, he's a little, like, uh, 
This tutorial is on how to flee in fear and uh, use geometry. Proceeding to the next batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which point they form a violence committee. Hmm. Try finger. But hold Some bitch. What the fuck? My name is Melatonin. <laughs> and if I may inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style. <laughs> so make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet. Everyone? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great Queen Marinara, who pissed off God so badly that he left <laughs> the God. fucking universe. Now her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered, and her athletic <laughs> scions are holding a contest to see. You can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them. No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil who have all claimed the shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless weekends at university. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. That's not Moog's younger brother. That's not the dynamic, though. That is Mikel uh Mikola, who is Melania's brother. Get it right. Attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to ride. Well, I guess this is an incorrect summary of Elden Ring, so he can do what he wants. <laughs> from their tilted towers and that title gives him some wiggle room. Royale. Jake Paul, bastard of the <laughs> Skelly sleeper, the crazy <laughs> car car consumer, and least of all, you tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. Cool. Welcome to the round table hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just Holy gonna go over here now. Hold. Yeah, that would, that. Now, as for our comprehensible friends, we could begin with the black. That's a fair joke. But, um, he's a little that text right is now, so sick. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what I wasn't <laughs> aware of was that this one action permanently debuffed my health, and I forgot to turn it off. For the entire game, the effect looks like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so it's time to head back. Jesus Christ, to Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. <laughs> our approach begins by moving through the gate. Our approach begins with a battle against the lag beast, but honestly after that, the level is pretty easy. <laughs> All right, finally a cutscene. Foul tarnished. God damn it. In search of the hose. Unfortunately, I hate women. That sounds like a new problem, <laughs> Chief. I am also homophobic. And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Max, or welcome to the first boss. Yeah, he's a little bit odd, uh, yeah. Margaret Thatcher is a very strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually, the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game with all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind you know like killing the fucking dragon which first yeah that didn't pass me by either that takes me back man it's <laughs> easier just not too much easier <clears throat> For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and, uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. <laughs> I am the pit bull of the woods. Uh, Have you seen any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, is this traveler, uber danger? I will kill the infants of your choice. Did he get uber danger to voice that? He totally did. Holy shit. That's amazing. 
<laughs> I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers <laughs> don't play around. So to keep things short, this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag. I believe that her impulse is to that. kill it. This necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or more accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the <laughs> Wait, was that? Scattered throughout the sacred grove, or <clears throat> this is a V Shoujo V two, isn't it? Disgraced loser. <laughs> Hi, Norman. If you ever call me that, we're done, professionally and romantically. More accurately, sprinting between Hollow Live. The trials of free acupuncture meets ah. Markiplier jump scare. That is not a. I know I've seen the model before, but I couldn't remember where. Sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a uh, Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit <laughs> cave. And as it turns out, Bambi is back from the woods and they had a chill. <laughs> I uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game. And, uh, <laughs> this editing is so sick. In 2006, overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. Ten out of PETA. Ten <laughs> out of You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, <laughs> just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game, and also the, uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest of all loot, a woman who It really does, I watch it, it really Lord, does. A fortress that made the grievous mistake of... <laughs> Fur Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten Chimera, and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me <laughs> to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Holy shit, why did he... I mean, I know why, but that's so fucked. That's, that's kind of a fucked joke. And started a county-sized race war. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the history of America. <laughs> and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Yeah, seriously. Just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level actually. It's pretty short. Just like this video. My favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's cage and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy, mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even still, <laughs> I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. Too late ago. to be calling Emmy misbegotten come here. face the consequences. <laughs> Enjoy this while you can, because we... Fuck, because we've got a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as speaking <laughs> to the sentient jar, which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrial <laughs> land shit. known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little <laughs> bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? What the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh god. Let's go back to the castle. This time I I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say <laughs> suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. Just to watch out for the hammer. Really glad we could beat the first boss up uh, nine minutes into the video. <laughs> I feel like that's good commentary for the whole like souls like experience in general though. Like every boss fight requires some amount of patience and awareness as well as experience. Gary and Anna is fucking dangerous, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't ever been there. I hear so much about it. 
Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, realm of the first demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, <laughs> multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese chemical factory. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend the political compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds, and uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Curdle. I'm Irish trying to birds. sneak around, but the clamp of my Holy ass shit. cheeks keeps alarming. Going. All right, it looks like we're finally making some Dude. progress. All we have to do now is get through the um. He's quite the uh, handyman. He knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. I this this video is like if TikToks were half hour long. Like this is TikTok pacing. <laughs> Very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday. And I hate Mondays. Pizza delivery for a uh, Garfield. It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand. You know, with making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know Jesus what Christ. I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our patience <laughs> to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass grave Angelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 what the fuck and then is sold happening? the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you and it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you have to pay attention to his arm <laughs> carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it up <laughs> pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to morph around as when I... So we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the, uh... The, uh... Oh. Oh, God. I guess he didn't need a hand. Mm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> so to overcome the taxes on his 401k, that cutscene always makes me thirsty. A bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's the Skyrim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. If you take a lasagna and put it on top of a second lasagna. Does it stay two individual lasagnas? Or does it become one new lasagna? It's an important question, guys. Guilty Gear music, let's fucking go. This is the best game ever made. <laughs> ah, the round table hold, my favorite location. There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It is I, the lore man. Okay, do you know where the bathroom is? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know? <laughs> Of a full moon reside. Okay, you know what? Never mind. It becomes Just one new many layer lasagna. One mega lasagna. Uh, this is worse. Let's Based. Uh, come back to that eventually. Now. Oh, uh, I guess I'm sorry. What about if one of the lasagnas was made a week ago and it's been in the refrigerator? And the second lasagna is freshly cooked. What then becomes of the combination? Does it still form one new lasagna? Or do they do each of them retain their individuality? Stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations, we've made it past the <laughs> I'd call you an insane person. <laughs> you might not be 
too wrong there. <laughs> Out of six and a half, I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember all those adventures we had <laughs> together, all those places we've been. That was up uh, ten percent. Still a singular lasagna. Really no, no, no. Both of them were cooked. The first one was cooked. It's just been in the fridge for a week. The second one was also cooked, but it was cooked thirty seconds ago. These videos in a nursing home. This is the rest of the game. Can you do that? Are you, wow. you are creating the lasagna of Theseus? We've got a ways to walk. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Ligma of the Lakes, the largest swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. Thirty thousand men have already died, and on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents, Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen of Caria. <laughs> for at least the next ten minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario, and together. <laughs> There, we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. I made a friend from Malaysia. Uh, he's he's moving back soon, or actually, he's he's moving to, he's gonna be in Malaysia for two weeks, and then he's moving to Belgium. But sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Good old Malaysia Lucario. I'm starting to think that Peter has a has a point. So, anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Skeddy, and get completely sidetracked until Octo end up fucking Nipton. But uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage, the amount of ramp scaling he uses in his editing must drive him insane. I wonder if he uses Premiere Pro. There's a really easy way to do that. <clears throat> and killing the white people, we make it to the hog. Er, Premiere Pro? What am I saying? DaVinci Resolve is what I say. Uh, is what I use. Or it's only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal, and next to it lies a map which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. So now that we've broken into magical racism land, it's time to enact our revenge <laughs> upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pre-good-ish <laughs> dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies such as the Spastic Child, this man 30 times in a row, and a homeless guy who helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly <laughs> linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now, I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we <laughs> Is this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dude <laughs> Past Ohio as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one I'm in the dead. entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? <laughs> Answer is stabbing me. This is one hacking speedrino doggo who God is dang. an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this <laughs> pupper is that he combines beast like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so oh. devastating as when he corrupted my drive, which destroyed this video. The last minute no. of which was reconstructed from memory. But besides that, his moveset is varied and intense, requiring expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Now on our search for a classroom that can't be raided, we head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become sidetracked again as You I can do that? Why did I never know you could just roll straight through the ball? I am teleported to the turtle pope who wants to sell me things. His existence isn't explained and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stare. Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. <laughs> I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> I said less disturbing. What is up guys and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh. <laughs> Holy welcome shit. One and all it costs to child slaughter. Dude, this guy is firing shots left and right. Holy fuck. 
Fest 2002 twos. That's right, this is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Ranala basically <laughs> lets you go to town. The reason for this is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent, I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kind of feel like I'm doing him a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy. What I guess Renala isn't a demigod, is she? Ronnie and, like, Renala's children are only demigods because they their father was Radagon, right? What the fuck? And about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn uh. that I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has been totally numb. Sorry, I'm moving my, my mic. I guess there's a phase two. <laughs> Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four Dark Souls. <laughs> the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susk Windlin if he slash them were a good boss. Using a vast array of magic, other bo Correct, but Renal is considered a strong mage that controls the moon. Meanwhile, Emmy wrote in the Bangers Journal, grenades are American potions. <laughs> Holy shit. Bosses and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck, but even still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, and God damn subscribe it. so we can take this video to the moon. So after sufficient damage is dealt, we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including, of course, this bastard again and the actual straight up pack of wolves. I I don't think I actually ever had to deal with her summons. I think I've al always just killed her fast enough that she never even got a chance. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. Yeah, exactly. I fucking hate this place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. <laughs> Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Kaled. What? You must continue your adventure in Kaled. Uh, Is that a problem? <laughs> no, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Kaled. <laughs> hey guys, needs McTherapy here. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. <laughs> Welcome to Kaelin. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget such legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeife and Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinderschredder. I'm so <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think I need Harrisor to translate that last one. <laughs> das Kinderschredder. Sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And don't. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Harrisor, I'm sorry. Today's episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Search Dawn, <laughs> captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle, where every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen car. So we ride, vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the common dungeon. The other kids laughed at me. They called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it is I who is laughing at them. Oh God. Cool, it's, a, it's another dragon. And this one is a, quite the special encounter because we- Have any of you guys played Doki Doki Literature Club? I have a story about that game. When I found that game, this was like years ago, back when I actually watched Game Grumps. And <clears throat> I saw that they started playing this game. And I I got like six episodes in maybe. 
and they mentioned that the game was free on Steam. I'm like, huh, okay, interesting, interesting. Norman, do you know what happens? Has it been spoiled for you? I, um, so I went on Steam and I downloaded the game. It was free, indeed. And uh, if you don't know, when you open the game, there's a little disclaimer that says um, this game contains disturbing content not for uh, like sensitive people or, or children. And I totally missed that. I, did, I must have looked away when it was loading. I was not paying attention to the loading screen at all. Um, and, you know, I, I played the game. And I genuinely just thought it was a cute little like dating sim with writing. Um, it has yet to be spoiled, but you have seen the warning. Okay. Then I won't spoil anything, but um, God damn, did that game change me? <laughs> that that game like. I think that's all I'll say. I don't. I want to preserve Norman's experience, but. Norman, when you play that game, please tell me because I want to I want to live vicariously through you. I want to experience it with you if at all possible. <laughs> we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything otherwise he uh, decouples his existence. Hey, what's up guys? Max or here and today we're going to be gaming on the moon because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow and I filled it with you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons because truly we have not Are there actually 32 dragons in this area? Fought enough of them. I don't uh, want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Hello? Thank episode you. box. So far, we've seen Thanks, a lot Zane. of traumatizing things. Enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest, but I've been saving the best for last. And by best, I mean the most yeah, evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swamp of Aeonia lies just within the center of Caitlyn and contains enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. This region, and pretty much all of Caitlyn, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with scarlet rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium. And get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation, because an NPC just invades you in the middle of the <laughs> nano machine. Like I can so. hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me. For your crimes, I am sending you to the moon. This place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die, and my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find Commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kennedy. Dude, mafia. I hated this boss fight this so is much. The only thing here that can't kill me. His move set is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build a barn around him. <laughs> the time it takes for him to do damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel. But you know, that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Also. Oh. He up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. <laughs> You're a horse, right? Jesus Christ. We're in a red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaylin is the actual level. Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and, uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I talked about. Welcome one and all cost to Child Slaughter Fest 2022. No. <laughs> Shame. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit off. Missy called Jar Jar Binks. Missy got humble, sir. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, with a stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube Rawr, Rewind sorry. that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. <laughs> His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Melania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way, but that is a story for later. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very Will Smith. I wonder if in his playthrough he did the same thing that I did and showed up after getting to the Altus Plateau 
I think if you if you get to the ultra if you do something before going to this castle, then you skip the first little boss. Which um if you guys caught my uh my endurance stream or my, my challenge run stream, then you may remember that boss. But that was the only time I ever ran into it. Friendly. Let's uh go start the mercy killing. And uh why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? <laughs> Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially <laughs> To an RTS. You did not get to skip the first boss. In world of employee harassment, now you can fight it was rough. as a real gamer. But why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by myself. Before it was that um that one misbegotten thing and uh crucible night, I believe. You can even reach him. Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet and firing a frankly <laughs> suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because, in addition to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon is an absolute <laughs> god among chads, and this fight's intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... Uh... Jumps into the upper atmosphere. That was such a cool moment to experience my first time playing this game. When he left, and it's just like silent for like 20 seconds. And then you hear a little rumbling. You look up. You're like, oh, shooting star. And then it comes right at you. <laughs> yeah, the, the visuals in this fight are fantastic. Don oozes style the whole fight. Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. I think I actually beat Radon my first try. And this was pre-nerf, but I had Luna summoned and I used every summon that I could find. So I don't really consider that a huge accomplishment, but Luna basically just told me to stay as far away as possible. <laughs> Literally, oh, what's that? Dixie said run. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, God, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure <laughs> to negatively affect the trout population. Won't someone please think about the economy? Wow. What a fantastic video. Do we watch part two is the question. Let's do a poll. That's a lot of yeses. God damn. Okay, maybe the poll is unnecessary. <laughs> All right. We can watch part two. <laughs> Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Uh the lands between so beautiful so tranquil 
on July showed up. Welcome back everyone to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time. Featuring deep role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, cool math games, happy Wii hosts, and probably a story so complicated <laughs> that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you about it. I 278 know. hours for that video? Is that considering that he spends 10 minutes per second of video? But I do know one thing. Melania is definitely the blade of Mikola. When we last left off, we endured great pain and suffering in our quest to destroy the cast of Percy Jackson. But do not worry, the pain has only just begun. And if you somehow haven't seen the first part, then uh that's fine. I have also seen JoJo. So with the Elden Ring shattered. Shit, actually, I want to grab a drink real quick. Um give me one moment. scattered among America's inbred dipshits. It's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty, attempt to find a girlfriend, almost impossible, and test the <laughs> Wait, that was sick. To find a girlfriend, almost impossible. <laughs> I feel like he... I feel like there are so many scenes that last less than a second, but have so much put into them. Like... <laughs> That's so fantastic, and I almost missed it. Possible and test the true strength of my hardware because this will be our greatest challenge yet, and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game. <laughs> that is kind of true. What a sick intro. Last time on Blatant Copyright Infringement Fair Use Edition, we struggled <laughs> to take Grandpa off his life support with violence, delivered Garfield his precious lasagna, and finally convinced Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with <laughs> fire. I'm dead serious. Wow, that was a fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving at a real breakneck speed. You know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significantly bigger. I'm not Wait sure. Wait till you hear one of the voices. Okay, especially but... since they're trapped in the same room as that man. It turns out nuclear weapons are a great way to excavate the earth and there are no long-term consequences, which means we've got an entirely new area to explore hiding just beneath our feet. And no, we're not going to visit the blue man group again. I still have this the This isn't getting over it. You're goddamn right, Deidre. We won. We fucking won. <laughs> I thought it was going to take me literally all day. But I beat it before the day was over for you guys. I'm, I was surprised. It took me less than two hours. So we're celebrating right now. We're watching some videos. Uh, we're watching an incorrect summary of Elden Ring Part 2 by Maxor. I think his name is. Yeah, yeah. I'll post the VOD, though. I have a VOD channel. Wait a second, this is Michigan. I need to leave as soon as possible. Vod channels on my link tree. It's a woman. I'm possessed of four arms, and that is what tickles thy fancy? Pringles can. Are thou no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can you throw yourself into a wood chipper? Listen, I have never seen a caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, go white boy, go. Okay. I shall need thy help to run my errands. Wait, is this the... No, I'm going through a Is this the voice you were talking about, Dead Watcher? Your signal is breaking up. I apologize for that. 
I may not have known at the time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole, one that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit no, makes no, Point okay. Town look like a playground. Welcome everyone to the Nether Fortress. It's three rooms long and filled with naked and hostile women, which is my preferred <laughs> enemy. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite. Holy shit, dude. Dude. <laughs> Hi B. Welcome in. Holy fuck. That joke just got me. <laughs> women, which is my preferred enemy. I've always wanted to be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime, Kill the Cats. And if that's a little too <laughs> Kill the for cats. you, don't worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers Dude, waiting. This guy's right hilarious. I can't believe I haven't uh I haven't I haven't uh heard of this guy before. Shenpai. Who who's Shenpai? The the Ronnie voice actor? Every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact myself. Me. Yeah, I'll I check that out. Level. Hey, what's up guys? Max over here. We're out here going after Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced to fight the only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking smack down on Dark Link. This battle is a <laughs> unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally cannot damage me in this state. Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. This boss's weakness is naked anime women. But overall, it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey guys, I built an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I exterminate the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like if <laughs> oh my you jump God, dude. A Victorian child, he would die instantly. And speaking of dying, we've returned again to Jump Scare Junction. That's right. See, and people say that React content is bad for the people who make the original content. Harrisor, I doubt you would have found this person if you hadn't seen it through Asmund Gold. Now, that's not much of a an excuse for me, because, like, who the fuck is seeing this for the first time through my stream? But, but I think the concept is all right. Right, I lied to you. I give Dora the wrong directions. This area and people rewatch videos all the time. Last time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemies, and the exact same boss, but this time he's glowing, just like this video. Now, don't get me wrong. I love beating Canadians to death, but why? <laughs> Please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture. Now, as for the rest of the area, it's pretty nice, you know, kind of short. Introduces the brand new sapient sphere. Fair type. enough. That's okay though. I too have seen Steel Ball run, but what I really want to find is this knife, which is a surprise tool that will. Help us later. With this, I may now cause many kitchen nightmares. Let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now. Not you, though the alternative isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarnished. Yeah, hi. I see you've come to me with londonbinknife.png. So you know what it is then? No, but if you desire a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch and her Karian call center. Only then can you rebate your purchase. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash is... <laughs> <laughs> I too have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just imagine oh my tarnished God. What those four armpits must smell I'm like. going to leave now. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Horrors Beyond Comprehension, a land of the hands, as it were. The Finky Dinky. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical art. Wait. The dude who was talking for <clears throat> um What's his name? Why do I not remember his name? Gideon. Gideon. The dude who's talking for Gideon is is one of the YouTubers that also made um videos for Yeah, Seth, that's his name, right? He made like funny review videos for Elden Ring. Artillery using my immense skill. This place, however, is anything but safe. I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply need to get through it, but you will lose a part of yourself. There are ants <laughs> everywhere in the ground, on the ceiling, and oh, the that's they are okay. Percent of the enemies, and the remaining ten percent kind of remind me of myself in a really strange way. I didn't my know his full name. Yoshikage Hira. I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom, and one of those 
those implications uh kind of kind of slaps you know what? <laughs> I would kill myself if i was written by jk rowling i can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on google because i keep getting this fucking echidna human knuckles just makes it worse now uh, what the fuck was i talking about oh yeah so after dealing with my oni chan and killing the only normal people for miles the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead I've always wanted to came to this place at level 84. So available at this address. This fight is actually I was probably around level 70. Three sentinel boss, so it's a really good thing that I beat him. You could say I have a lot of practice with the move set. This time, however, we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong in the <laughs> battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even turn the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or will see in five minutes. The magic urge her a really comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is a story for uh, part 19. Yeah, I think Seth's videos are usually a bit shorter too, right? I think uh, the ones that I saw were around 10 to 20 minutes. So for now, I'm just gonna send her to a farm upstate. <laughs> I can't have played so... this game for uh, 130 hours and uh, haven't slotted a spell. Now, as a full metal consequence <laughs> of my vehicular manslaught arena, we have finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the writing on this one. I just don't really care for the uh, Blythe arc where he eats the classroom. But to get to that, we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the copy paste key. If we can teach magic to find <laughs> dragons and dogs, I don't even know why we try. The most powerful wizards can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh, he. Uh, uh, he, he's gone. <laughs> he has chosen peace. I guess all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School so I can finally meet the love of my life. Ah, ah. How the fuck did you do that? Do what? She says, her long oh hair swaying in the Among Us Morbius Among Us sus. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. Tell you what, <laughs> I'm also in the business of killing God. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join or not? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. Wonderful. Your first <laughs> mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can talk to my sleep paralysis demon. Greetings, Tarnish. Oh god, not him. It is I, Brian Dawn, from Family Guy. <laughs> please leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not really here right now, so please... God damn it, it's an answer. <laughs> please record your message. Finally, it's time to continue playing the game. And to get to the aforementioned volcano, we must first ascend. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Ronnie Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. Thank God the mountain of death is wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So we enter the absurdly large elevator, custom built and designed for the new American male, and place our keys in the ignition like a sedan. Welcome every pony bazinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic treehouse. I originally meant to go to the volcano immediately, but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are two <laughs> paths we can take to traverse this area. The road of proper, upright civilization or the forest of immaculate pain. You know, I did both of them, but this <coughs> one is funnier. Welcome everyone to the worm people dimension, a region totally unique in how it decides to kill I hated these, these guys. A special status effect called death, and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully. <laughs> and, uh, there's quite a few of them. My favorite example is definitely Wormface, who is called that for no reason. All of his attacks are basically instant kills. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're going to be sneaking into Big Shell. Right, and you have to stop the Facebook algorithm. It's giving people pronouns. So after navigating the impaled <laughs> or just great. teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge because, uh... <laughs> He is there. So for the next part of our journey, we make our way to the Windmill Village. I never, in all of my hours of playing Elden Ring, I've never found a uh, golden face? Golden Mask, that's what his name is. Yeah, never found him. Navigating the Impaled Jail, or Kniak. Just don't turn around on the bridge because, uh... <laughs> He is there. So for the next part of our journey, we make our way to the Windmill Village, which is, uh, uh, apparently a fun time. You know, I may be a fan <laughs> of older women, but this is a bit much. These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement center. Honestly, this area is pretty dope. Have any of you seen Midsummer? I've heard that it was good, but I have not seen it yet. Ooh, speaking of that, okay, so I have 
a date planned for this month or for this next month. Um, I'm planning to go see the new Jurassic World movie with a girl. And I, you know, I have not seen Jurassic World 2 or 3. And it's been a, quite a long time since I've seen Jurassic World 1. So, I'm toying with the idea of doing a few movie nights in Discord so we can get through the first three before my date. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> Would you guys be able to watch with me? I don't want to watch these movies alone. I don't think they're entertaining enough to watch them alone, man. <laughs> Your work starts again at 20th of August. You have time? Bet, dude. You can send me a little summary. Why not just hold my hand and watch it with me? I'd like that more. What do you think, Normie? Maybe I'll make an event. Um, it'll probably be next week. As long as you Stay tuned. Angry. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you, just like Dio and his stand. Welcome back, everyone, to the official IGN walk. Yeah, this boss was gonna be fighting uh, Slenderman. Badass. Collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever <laughs> think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things worse, we have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally. The spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist before, but thankfully the priest was better at the Every god skin is a bastard. That's not the last time we're gonna see him, although That's true. I wish it was. So with Friedrich Fastbear once again confined to his pizzeria, we approach the fabled gate of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the residents, we catch a glimpse <laughs> of our next destination. The next destination hurts my eyes. All you have to know is that I really want to get there because I am a moth. And also this anime girl. Naturally, my <laughs> first instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds outside my house. But these instincts were not correct. Also, some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. So instead of what the is, fuck? We need to take the side route to get in, I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish teeth. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded most powerful enemy of the entire game. That's right, the copy paste key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. <laughs> this might be an unpopular opinion, but I think the way that Elden Ring did their copy and paste boss fights was really clever. Because they always made a key element different so that you couldn't just, like, do the same thing you did last time, you know? I thought that was really good. I didn't mind that there were a lot of enemies that you'd technically seen before. Like, every one was different in a key way. The, this Draconic Tree Sentinel was different from the other ones, you know? Like, the, the um, what are they called? The, the Draconic or the Dragon... The the really like humanoid looking dragon bosses. One was in like Ein's uh underground, the other one I don't remember. Dude, it's been a while since I played the game. But they like yeah. You you know what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, I'm tired. But because I have exhausted my horse jokes to put Exactly. He's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different this time around though, except for the damage. That is very new. This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticize the Chinese government. Overall, though, this boss is a very cool reskin and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using my horse, just like the Mongols. Absolutely peak game design right here. I'm very impressed. I fought him on foot. One second, guys, I need to answer. And I beat him on foot. My phone. So, with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone, 
to Listerine, a royal capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys my ears. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking inescapable. <laughs> We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level in the form of my tinnitus. Look at this shit. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit all of that. The entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I am six feet under. Enter the buildings. Peruse the streets. Find new enemies and die to them. We've got a little bit of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game is <laughs> four, five, and fucking six. So I ask again, are the developers okay? Do they sleep? So after our encounter with band class, we move throughout the city, becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents. And there are so many different paths that it's actually hard to talk about. You can go down the streets and die, go through the storm drain and be dragged to the depths of hell where the Catholics go. Or you can go to the bad side of the <laughs> Exploding worm. I hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience. Just don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men. Seriously, this is an entire dungeon in and of itself, and it's more convoluted and confusing than a woman. I want to get God, off. God, I hated these sewers. They were horrible experience. Mr. Miyazaki's wild ride. Please let me see my family. But that is a story for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him later, preferably after he stops dealing with me. So once I finish up preening the garden and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing railings because I am stupid. And also the Zen. <laughs> Here's the uh, next boss. He just kind of appears there. Gotta fight Casper the unfriendly piss. Now I could get into this boss maybe talk about how he helped my insides experience fresh air but he is up uh, very phoned in and we're going to get quite familiar with him later and also he uh, has a stand so that's how you know he's gay since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge against that guy. After does he finish all, the game in this video? Giles, and Holy shit, he probably does. Forgiven. <clears throat> Ah, if it isn't my old friend, the tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks no paper. How are you alive exactly? <laughs> How are you still single? Once I called the demigod's family, but that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. But what the fuck is wrong with you? Cancel culture strikes again. Oh god, this fight is good. Like, really fucking good. I just didn't sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up point boy do be busting a down sexual style, and his secret is methamphetamine. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. Faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for phase two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yeah. How do you guys feel about Genshin Impact? Now that I'm a VTuber, I feel some sort of weird pressure to play it. <laughs> I can make his weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely not just the damage, although there is a lot of that, but just how many fucking moves this man has, and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls bosses were just an obese. Fair enough, fair we enough. so young, but this does beg the question, why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was he getting his groceries? Did he use Use a VPN. <laughs> the only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also hate me. So to come out on top. Yeah, those are very f fair points. Um, I will say I absolutely adore the Genshin Impact soundtrack. It's fantastic, absolutely amazing. Like I listened to that. Sh I've listened to the soundtrack more than I've played the game. I think top we've got to remain quick race the inside of our asshole and to verify our online sources with correct documentation because this is the hardest boss so far and the easiest boss for the rest of the game so whether we're delivering pizza or attempting deicide morgoth will bring you the home depot experience whether you're ready or not and the answer is usually not This is such a badass sequence. That fight was the fucking bomb. That was a really cool boss fight. It was a hard fought battle, but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to make God pay for this. All we have to do is go through the um. Uh, 
This probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. So, uh... Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's, uh, doing stretches. For the next 5,000 years. What? Anyways, you need to, uh, burn the tree. Excuse me? You need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scaring me. The pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me! Welcome everyone to the Mountain of Agony. Oh, that's Russian Badger. Gameplay, but mostly I don't really watch Russian Badger, to be honest. So, I didn't recognize him. Gameplay, home of I'm the sorry. fifth demigod, Satan, literally just Satan, Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to... Was that the voice you were talking about? Just one problem, we gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is, uh... Oh... A little bit linear. I call it the Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something <laughs> is after me, but I don't know what it is. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of special. Just got to take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It feels a bit like every level collaborated to make this one. We've got people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. We even get to see the, um, the handyman himself he's getting really out of hand this time you could say that i have my hands full this is hands down the stupidest joke in the video so after climbing up a little bit you know three ladders in a row we gaze over a cliff whereupon patches just breaks my fucking skeleton guess i have to climb all the way back up the top of the mountain is really fun though especially when my computer decides to work it's like disneyland for victorian peasants or just oh. Yugoslav war criminals i think Satan that's i i was replaying um the game or I was in New Game Plus or something, and I was trying so hard to find the, uh, the full-grown falling star beast again, and I could not, for the life, for the life of me, find my way back to it. It's I was like so upset. Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess, though. So after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But at that size, it's more like a volcano-gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into. Starting with the um. <laughs> Red. You know, like all the flags this is giving. The game me. is so damn like big. Of a gaming PC. Maybe this woman can give us more info. Hello, Tarnish, and welcome to the. Oh, it's Iron Mouse. Red Manor. Feeling creative today, aren't we? I am the virtual YouTuber of this mansion, Tanith, and this is Gug. Gug. Gug is in pain. Aren't we all? <laughs> Anyways, can I interest you in joining the forces of Satan? We offer coupons. <laughs> For what exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes Tesco. Well, you know what? I do want to attack That's God, amazing. and the moonlighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You kill. What? We crave innocent blood, traveler, and I expect a sufficient donation. After all. Oh, you are what you eat, and I am a child at heart. I think I chose the wrong voice actor. Hail Satan! <laughs> well, I guess since I sure Satan now, my outfit needs to get a little edgier, and my weapons need to become a little veggier. Potatoes aren't the only things that these can feel. And as a fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, half my fellow demons have scoliosis. So, uh, let's just collect our first target, you know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did he just say chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to? I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. <laughs> That's so good. I was never able to find one I of those sides. The bad guys. Oh, sad. Just kidding. I don't think. Oh shit! Wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. You have proven yourself my finest sin. My sins are unforgivable. You get to meet Satan now. No. Oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Can I leave now? Have fun. 
Uh, hi there, Satan. Did you fall from heaven? I don't think he liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Matt yeah, seriously. Here, today we're gonna be trapped in um hell. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins. Don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I get to meet all of my favorite heroes, such as Ronald Reagan, and also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate <laughs> this new landscape of fire and brimstone, Holy we must shit. venture into the many circles of hell, each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now as for me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment is continuing to make this video. It is <laughs> four in the morning. Now the first thing you see in this level, and I mean the first thing, is an anchor direction. This tells us that we're in the circle of lust, where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of uh, Sug 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 Boy, I sure do love love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact oh video God. very soon. Just gotta turn this corner and uh. Why is he just standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me uh, anytime later. Oh my god, it's him, <laughs> the Caprese Demon. Now for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we Holy find ourselves fuck, in the circle of gluttony, because the residents are a bit, uh, a bit sluggish. I know, very funny oh. stuff. For some fun volcano facts with Maxor. Did you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping? Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the lava <laughs> is more of a suggestion. Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So, <laughs> navigate the, uh... People say that shit to me all the time because I like summer. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind the heat at all. <laughs> Um, kinky neighborhood. We head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. <laughs> Their Sisyphean punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> what I'll be attending the fuck this. is happening, man? Hey guys, welcome back to my 600 pound death. And on today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant. <laughs> I Jesus to Christ, I dude. This boss may have had a few too many uh, communion wafers. How many of those do you have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body, broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute girth of this man might make you think we're in for a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that, and that just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And just like last time, his second phase is absolute body horror genuinely just the scariest shit i've ever seen in my life please consult your doctor before engaging in any nico kato maxing i think that uh i think i'm gonna be here for a few more minutes but finally the bloated design body positivity no i have body negativity also holy shit this music goes hard this is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the inside of a walmart i think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin come on do it give me your skin if you aren't comfortable in your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now <laughs> officially shot we can finally grab the off. Those moments where he just like laughs like you can't say with a straight face. Your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially <laughs> shot Biggie Biggs, we can finally grab the off. <laughs> and continue on our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right, we're finally <laughs> Home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, um, more ladders. But honestly, it's a bit, uh, easy to get lost in here. Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about. Besides the, uh, <sighs> the Egged One. Just your standard committee of child skinners. So, we're just gonna tell It's me. The Egged One. Just your standard committee of child skinners. So, we're just gonna teleport straight to the boss which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why all right <laughs> because Satan, of the I've reasons why now prepare yo xanthos thank you for the raid man that's what i've been waiting for that's what welcome raiders welcome raiders today we we did a a little challenge run if i uh didn't beat getting over it before ending stream then i would have had to um uh, play Alien Isolation, and drink every time I get scared while also wearing a maid outfit. But 
We beat the game in less than two hours. In less than two hours. Yep. That was fucking hype. So now we're celebrating. We're already running out of time. We are literally just Katamari and Super Monkey Balling right now. Oh, come on. No! Oh, I no. Kirby, get up there. <laughs> Thank you again for the raid, man. Welcome in. Uh, we're most of the way through this video, unfortunately, but um, yeah, let's keep it going. There's a feel my. Oh, wait a second. Welcome everyone to Doom Internalizing My Abuse, and today <laughs> we're going to be fighting the um. We're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to Google how to kill him, because as it turns out, the reptile exhibit is in need of some heavy ordinance, of which I am an expert. The Serpent Hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit, a weapon of mass destruction specifically built to kill just snakes, you know, like a just solitary snakes. bird. It's also, uh, <laughs> 30 feet from the entrance. That's like giving chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just went from Storm Ruler to Storm Meter Stick. You know, a lot of times in games like this, I don't like gimmick fights. You know, like in Sekiro, I didn't love the the spirit dragon fight. You know, it was kind of boring. It was visually cool, but it, it was, you know, it was kind of boring. Because it, it just didn't include any of the gameplay elements that you had been working to improve. And, it you know, it just, yeah, I don't think that was done well. But this gimmick fight, I I actually liked it a lot. I think this weapon was really fun to use. Um, yeah, I think this was very well done. This fight is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is yeah, exactly. <laughs> he gets it too. Damage is absolutely biblical. My favorite part was when Kane beat his brother to death with a rock. The only thing <laughs> I like is that you are too strong, and dodging him is a little easy because the snake will signal every attack by pogging. But if I had to choose a boss <laughs> to be easy, this one is pretty fucking up there. And trust me, I know about fucking up. But just ask the war crime trials. I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war. I only. No, I do like the little rhythm game. But the rhythm game isn't present in the the dragon boss fight, you know? You just gotta, like, kill some slowly walking mini dragons and then climb some trees. That's really it. Only kill people like you tomorrow. But as for this boss, his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun, of which there is plenty. I think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> I'm always down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. Oh Jesus, aren't you dramatic? Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15. Holy shit. Riker. <laughs> it appears that you are trying to cut off my pet snake. This is not the so real chills. Turn, I will now cut off yours. He got the real Iron Mouse, but he didn't get the real chills. Disappointing. The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the Serpent King as family. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. It's finally him. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, <clears throat> welcome everyone to the... Clears McThroat. Finally him. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh... <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death, and today we're going to be fighting the human centipede along with everyone he's ever consumed. <laughs> That's right, this entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet, not to mention I'm carrying the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you want to get eaten, first you have to get eaten, buy an immortal snake, and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. Now as for the gameplay, it's um, a little intense, you know, kind of spooky, kind of makes me cry, because this boss, on top of his normal moves that can use every snake attack just like metal gear solid but that isn't even the dangerous part that happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the loudest possible volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil i guess hell is just <laughs> built on a missile system i could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now the best way i can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage just like playing valorant but in a good way unlike playing valorant, even still hey speaking of valorant <laughs> check out my youtube channel i posted a, a short with valorant um, 
Valorant gameplay in Japan servers. <laughs> Another short going live in nine and a half hours. This battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, <laughs> and of course the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely. My brain is still intact, by the way. I, I'd like to think that I have not received any brain damage from that experience. On the contrary, it was actually really wholesome. Uh, I made a few friends in Japan servers. <laughs> Absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, goddamn does it deliver. Fair point, Dead Watcher, fair point. Not yet. This is so badass. That's such cool Man, text, dude. Match made in hell. I heard League being referred to as a dopamine detox. It's getting rid of your excess happy hormones. Yeah, it may be a dopamine detox, but it's also a... Uh, Cortisol rush. Hey, so uh, I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? Yeah, so duh. <laughs> Where did she go? Go. Oh, she's eating what? <laughs> Damn. The video's over. Okay, so part three in three months. Bet. Easy subscribe. That was really fun. Yo, gone! What's up, man? Thanks for the follow, dude. Good to see you. <laughs> um, gone is somebody I met through Sunny Explosions community. He made um. Well, actually, I guess I met you watching. Um, pickle, didn't I? But, gone made some amazing fan art of the Sunny Squad. Ab absolutely fucking fantastic. Uh, and I played a, a chess match with Gon. Seems like a cool guy. Glad to have you here. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think that may be a good place to call it for today. You know, we, we kind of... We got a lot more done than I expected in a lot shorter of a time. <laughs> you know? I was not expecting to beat that game as fast as I did. Um, and it feels good. I'm mistaking you for someone? I don't know, man. I don't know. Through willpower and memes, you did it. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, let's see who's live. Um. <laughs> His name is not Moo, he will not be gaslit. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe we raid Pickle. Yeah, Xanthos, I'm glad you were able to stop by. Um, let's see. All right, Zeri, I appreciate you hanging out, man. It's been fun. Yeah, let's read Pickle. Uh, before we go, what's our read message going to be? Anyone got raid message ideas? 
raid toe? <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. What are we? A gang? We're the Katsu crew. Spelled like that. Let's see. Katsu raid. Hmm. This is something I'm gonna need to think about more. <laughs> Katsu coming at ya. We got over it. How about that? Something like that. What do you think? Oh, that's the same song. There we go. <laughs> All right, that works. Beautiful. Guys, I'm very happy that we were able to beat our challenge today. Thank you, Kevin Ben. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it feels so good. And I appreciate you guys sticking around for the little celebration. Hanging out with me, watching some good videos. It was a good time. I will be live next on well what day is it for you guys is it monday is it monday night i'll be live in two days <laughs> it'll be thursday for me wednesday for you i think um check my schedule if you're not sure in the discord make sure to join the discord if you have not already um follow my socials i'm active on all of them yeah, time zones. They're crazy. <laughs> but yeah, let's show some love to Pickle. Here's the raid message again. Make sure to copy and paste it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Until the next crew meeting. Unlucky. Yeah, the, the zones are never on us. That's the thing. <sighs> ah, yo, Mido, thanks for the raid. Did you? Were you playing Getting Over It? Oh, oh no. Yo, Harrisor, thank you for the ten months. How oh, you beat it? That might have beat you in beating, uh, getting over it first. You gotta beat him now. I'm absolutely crushed. <laughs> we'll get along beautifully. Just don't touch my things. Ah, uh, I tried that game.